sorry, homies. It's your homegirl, Natalie. I haven't done a sit down talking video in a long ass time. So please, please be patient with me. So for today's video, I wanted to do a winter trends, 2021, 20, 22 um, trends video. I was a little bit hesitant to do this though at first because I'm here in the States and I actually only came here with a capsule wardrobe, which I still need to film that video for it. So I don't really have a whole bunch of things with me, but I have bought some things here and there. So I was able to make a couple outfits for you guys. So let's get on to the trends. So our first trend, or not so much Trend, but just something that you should have every season is some perfume because like your outfit can look really cute but you need something to lure people in and smelling good will do just that so i'm happy to have partnered with dca for today's video dca offers customers luxury scents at affordable prices like seriously check out their website dca scents are 29 dollars while designer scents can range from 50 all the way up to 280 in retail they offer men women and unisex scents you could even take a quiz to see what kind of scents you should try out and i say try out because you can actually try out their scents risk-free. Every bottle comes with a small sample that you can try out and wear before unsealing the regular size bottle. For any of the scents that you don't like, all you have to do is just return them within 30 days and that's it. They have great bulk deals on their site that you can get up to 25% off and free shipping for three or more bottles. They're always adding new scents to their collections and are happy to take suggestions from customers for future releases. I actually ran out of my favorite proving perfume that my sister doesn't like, but whatever. So this was a really good opportunity for me to try some new ones. For me, I like more of like muskier type of scents. So I actually went for more unisex scents, but I did pick like a floral feminine type of scent just to kind of mix it up in there. Use my link in the description box and my code YOHOMEGIRL10 to get 10% off your purchase. And maybe you're interested in the ones that I picked out, so I will leave those in the description box. So now let's get on to our second trend. So this one is a cozy fleece trend. Actually in Korea during the winter time, they always sell things with fleece inside from like leggings to shirts to I guess that's be everything. Honestly, really anything, like you'll just see like, oh look, that's like a regular little button up. And it's like, no, there's fleece inside. But it also makes sense because it's something that definitely keeps you nice and warm. I think for this trend, what they're looking at is more of like prints and certain things on it rather than it being like on the inside. And also the trend states that it's more like of a fleece top than rather of it being like outerwear. It's something that you can easily layer underneath like a thicker coat for that extra warmth. Using this freaking thing because I don't have autofocus. <laughs> So what I ended up having in my wardrobe was not even fleece, but a teddy jacket instead. But I think it just, you know, I mean like it works fine even though I just said like, they're not looking for outerwear, but whatever. This is what I had in my luggage, right? This does have a good print on it, so I think it went on trend. And using the colors from the print, I made the rest of the outfit. So I let it be the same in piece by wearing my trusty velour pants from Uniqlo, a Uniqlo Heat Tech turtleneck, and Adidas sneakers. A thing to note though, for this to work in colder months, I would additionally layer a sweater on top of the turtleneck and wear some thick tights underneath. A thing to note with these outfits, they do not include like scarves or gloves because I literally left Korea when it was like hot as summer and now is winter time so you know I don't have that in my luggage so just keep that in mind. <laughs> this trend I am dying to get my hands on and that is a chunky platform knee high boot. And I know it's a trend of 2021 but let me tell you like I have been dying to get my hands on this for like ever. Abba's Waterloo, like literally all their platforms to die for. It's just like, also on top of that, once something goes on trend, then it hits like, you know, your your regular stores and then eventually the trend dies out and then I can buy it on sale. Unfortunately, again, I do not have that in my wardrobe, but I thought I would just talk about it because that is something that I totally am looking forward to seeing, buying, mostly buying <laughs> and having my wardrobe. The next three trends I just put together in one outfit. So let's start off with the staple winter hat. So you already know that's either gonna be a beret, a beanie or the fuzzy hat. You already know which one I went with. The beret. I will forever be campaigning everyone to try out a beret at least twice in your life because the first time maybe you didn't wear it the right way. You just really need to find a style that works for you. You can refer to my accessories video to see how to wear it. Oh, and I'm definitely so on board the fuzzy hat trend. It looks like a fuzzy bucket hat. I actually did buy one and I did have it in a vlog of mine. Literally that day, since that day, 
it has disappeared into thin air. Yeah, so I'm really sad about that because I, I got it at a really good price. So excited to like just keep wearing it. Whoever found it, I hope you're having your happiest life, man. Next is a chunky knit cardigan, but hasn't this really been on trend for like a while now with that one um, very famous knit that everyone was buying, making, or buying off of AliExpress? But obviously, you know, you cannot go wrong with the chunky knit in the wintertime. It's like the most perfect time to wear that because you need some warmth. But what the trend is going for is more like bright colors and cool patterns, which I guess is kind of the same as, you know, what we saw in springtime anyways, but eh. But I do feel like this is something that's gonna be really easy to get your hands on, unlike my platform knee-high boots. But if you are in a search for one, I just thought I would shout out my mom at Naughty Little Ma because she actually knits cardigans, sweaters, crochets, bralettes, she does it all. So if you are interested in um, getting one and supporting a small business and wanting to get something handmade, head on over to her Instagram. Okay, so this is another trend that I think has been here for a hot, hot minute, and that is a chunky lug platform boot. Not like a knee-high one, just a regular platform boot. This trend is obviously very reminiscent of the 90s and also a lot of like some of my favorite like cartoon characters. The one that I can think of right now is um, Yumi from Code Lyoko. Like I feel like the ones that I have look like hers and I'm like, yo, I should be here for Halloween, but I wasn't. I was Elena. You know. <laughs> so for these, it says to pair with like a flaunty, you know, very cutie, girly, feminine dress or a slip dress to get that contrast of like edgy and girly. I'm definitely so on board with that. I think that's such a cute look and I do wear that a whole lot. And the really great thing with having platform boots is the fact that at least for a showdy, at least for a showdy, for a showdy. My legs are not long, okay? I'm constantly in heels. The platform boots just gives my feet a chance to rest. I'm able to get the height that I need without having to be in heels ever since I got it. Like I have been wearing it non freaking stop. Summertime, I wore it. Fall time, I wore it. Winter time, I'm wearing it. I think this is like an all around boot that you definitely need to have in your wardrobe. Okay, so now let's go on to the outfit. <laughs> Let me start off by saying this awesome knit cardigan was made by my mom and it's up for purchase, so DM her if you're interested. So I immediately decided to use it as the saving piece and because I paired it with my chunky Aloha's boots, I didn't have anything in my luggage that would tie in the colors, so I just went for an all black number. I did try to add a hint of color though with um, this burnt orange heat tech turtleneck from Uniqlo. And for me, I think this outfit looks super, super, super freaking cute. This chunky knit is so cozy, like I could just take a nap in it. And the cherry on top is a black beret, of course, as my staple winter hat. Um, it's also fuzzy, so I think it's a lot more appropriate for the winter time too. Winter styling is just so tricky for me because I just end up wearing my big old padding black jacket because in Korea, it's just brick. You don't wanna wear anything else. However, if I were to wear this coat, I would just have to layer really, really well underneath so that I don't freeze. And that is the Penny Lane coat. <gasps> this is so cute. It just looks so luxurious. It has that fur trim on the sleeves, on the neckline, and sometimes like on the length of the actual coat and I think it's just a gorgeous coat but also edgy depending on what the material is because sometimes you can see like leather or vinyl and then you have like some fur. I feel like I really just need like a green one kind of want to look like the Grinch. And I actually do have one of this back at home in Korea, but it's like a shorter one. So I think if I had like that longer length, it would be a lot better and I probably would wear a lot more. I combined the next two trends in just one outfit. And the first one is a sweater vest. Again, it's something that we have been seeing for a long as time since springtime, right? And I think what we'll just be seeing more of is just the variations in colors and prints and patterns and stuff like that. The great thing about a vest is that you can wear it on top of like a dress a t-shirt, a button up. And depending on the print of it, it can be a good way to add a pop of color to a look. For the leather and vinyl trench coat trend, this combines the classic trench with the edginess of a leather jacket. It's definitely more worn as a transitional piece, but it really just depends on what type of winter you have. If it's not like super extreme winter that you have, first of all, lucky you. Second of all, all you really have to do is just layer underneath and then you'll be okay. If you guessed that my mom also knitted this checkered vest, you're right. Again, I wanted it to be a statement piece, but 
instead of pairing everything with black, I chose a silky button up just to have a contrast with all the darker colors. The closest thing I have to a leather trench coat is this jacket. So I threw that on to complete the look. But if you wanted to make this look look warmer, <laughs> adding in a turtleneck would help. However, this is definitely not a look for extreme winter places. I mean, maybe if you were to throw on a long thick wool coat on top and switched out the shorts for corduroy pants, then I think it could work. Again, knits are everything for winter time. So seeing the fuzzy striped sweater as a winter trend is definitely not surprising. Honestly, this is more of a forever trend because knits just go perfectly for winter time. I mean, they're cozy, they're soft, they can be big, they could be like a whole bunch of different colors and stuff. But I guess just for this particular trend, it's talking more about the striped type of sweaters. And luckily for me, my mom knitted me one. Yes, we get to a colorful look. Luckily, I had these colors in my luggage. So I paired the knitted sweater with these pink flares. Because these are thin though, uh, wearing tights underneath will definitely help with making them more appropriate for the weather. Additionally, a turtleneck could have been worn, but I decided not to. I also threw on another staple winter hat, my purple beret, and to match with that, I wore my two-tone Aloha's boots. Just in case the colors are a bit too much though, I also threw on my mom's light padding jacket. It's more of a muted pink, so it tones it down. We got even more knits, people, and that is the knitted trousers. I remember back in like high school, my mom actually knitted me shorts, like cable knit shorts, man. They were really cute. They were like hot pants. I definitely would have rocked it now, but okay, onto the trend. Yes, the knitted trousers is definitely something I've had my eye on, but for me, I need to make sure that you don't see like the underwear line or anything. So I think if I can't get one that's like thick, then probably one that has a pattern would do just as fine. There's this one from Paloma Wool the Fabia, Fabio one, and those are really cool. Our last knit trend are knit sets, so I guess this also goes with the knitted trousers. With the sets, it's obviously like a top and the bottom. The idea of it sounds really cool and cute because it's nice to have like a matching set, right? My only thing with that is that I personally like to have like my butt covered when I'm wearing something. There's not like a whole lot of structure to it. Like jeans, I can wear their structure, especially because the tops aren't like, they're just like a regular top. So I think I would probably wear them separately, which I know isn't part of the point of the trend. I guess if the pants were like really thick, then that's when I could probably just wear it like all together. But if not, I don't know. <laughs> Here we get to the puffer coat trend again. Um, this has been a trend since last winter, but maybe just more and more variations are coming out. These are actually quite cute when you find a cool print on them and they are extremely warm. I actually wear mine when I go outside to take out Albie in the morning. And all I have underneath is like a little t-shirt. That's it, and I'm like totally warm. If you're okay with having like your legs be colder, or if you don't live in like an extremely cold place, then I think the puffer coat could definitely be a really great winter coat for you. This puffer jacket was gifted to me by my friend and I always, always get compliments when I wear this. For this fit, I went the casual route. I thought the puffer should have its moment to shine. So I wore light wash denim and actually underneath I had on tights and this just helps with the fit being warmer. Since we're going the casual route, I wore a turtleneck underneath just like a regular little t-shirt and some sneakers to tie it all together. I would probably wear this look if I was running errands and I knew I'd be going like, you know, in and out of stores. I'd be nice and warm when I'm outside and then not completely overheating when I have to take off this jacket to go shopping. And our last trend that I will most definitely, definitely, definitely not be getting into, okay, is the all-in-one. No, no, no. <laughs> I just said I do not like showing my booty, you know what I'm saying? And this is like prime time booty time. How I would wear this, probably not the point of the trend, is like wear it underneath like a jumpsuit or something as like a layering piece. But I feel like how I've seen it is that like, that's the star of the piece. It's like, here's my all-in-one onesie and here's like a jacket that I'm wearing. And I take off this jacket when I go inside and like, there I am in my onesie. I definitely would not be doing that. Imagine if I actually ended up wearing this at some point. I mean, I feel like they could probably get me if it was like a flower 70s like groovy print, then I'll be like, yes, I need to buy it. But I probably wouldn't buy it because it would be at retail price and my ass would wait for the sale. <laughs> I don't know, would you guys try that out? Have you worn that beforehand? <laughs> okay, so that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for sitting down with me and just chatting about winter trends that you may or may not be about. Also, a really big thank you to DCA for sponsoring today's video. Please check out their site, you will not be disappointed. I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.